Hi there, it's Matt Heffernan. Welcome back to my channel. Just wanted to make a quick announcement here that beta version 0.2 of the XCI Adventure Game Engine for the Commander X16 is now available. And uh, just a quick overview of uh, what you can see here that wasn't in the previous beta release. Uh, I have demonstrated in some videos some of the features of this beta release before it actually came out. Uh, but now it's actually out there and you can uh, download it and get all, all the binaries already pre-built uh, in terms of the software development kit and the actual engine itself. So like before, you get the engine, uh, which of course is for the Commander X16. And then you get uh, two different executables. You, uh, both of them are zipped up. You can get a 64-bit uh, uh, Linux uh, executable uh, and then a uh, Windows uh, executable. Uh, I don't provide a Mac, but if you got GCC for Mac, then you can just go ahead and build your own. And it should be as simple as that. In fact, GCC for pretty much any platform, including Raspberry Pi. I haven't tried it yet, but there's no reason why the SDK wouldn't work perfectly fine on a Raspberry Pi or any other uh, similar... GNU Linux type environment. So what you'll be able to get in uh, this version that we didn't see before are uh, a couple of new things. There's the template which I had shown before in uh, some of the tutorial videos that are currently out and then some uh, better documentation, a little more illustrative, including those uh, slides that are in those video tutorials. Uh, I'll be doing the next tutorial uh, video pretty soon. But for now, you can see what's in there in this beta release. You can see the first two episodes of that series, uh, and the slides for all that are all in there. Now, since the last release, there were a few uh, open issues uh, that were identified in those release notes. Uh, one was the fact that you couldn't save or load games. Um, there is a, a certain limitation. I have a, a issue in with the X16 emulator uh, repository uh, that you can't save uh, directly off of bank ram but I sort of uh, move the memory map around a bit and now I've uh, cleared up enough low RAM space to be able to get all of the save game data uh, in a contiguous part of memory and then save it off from there and for now it works it does uh, cut into the ultimate capability of the engine which is why I do want to revert back to my original plan of uh, just staging. I'm already staging uh, a bank and bank RAM. Just to save directly off that would make things a lot easier and allow games to actually be larger. So, and gives me more headroom for uh, future development of the engine. And uh, the other uh, big issue was you couldn't do a graceful shutdown. I finally figured out how to do that. I get you back down to the basic prompt after you select exit from the menu. Um, there is uh, still stuff uh, happening in terms of uh, uh, VRAM still having a bunch of stuff in there from the game, but in general it, you, you get a basic prompt back there and it's back to being a usable computer. And you could go and do a new and load up something else. Uh, then uh, a couple of issues, uh, some that you'd actually seen <laughs> in the videos were a bit of mistakes. Uh, there were uh, uh, there was an issue with the SDK where if you put in a bad key in a configuration file, it would just fail uh, silently and just ignore it, and now it at least comes to your attention. And uh, then uh, bug fixes in the game itself, in that example game, there's just some issues, and especially once I get got into the whole loading and saving thing, it was uh, very apparent that you'd want to be able to be extra careful with the way you set up your states and the way that you can re-enter levels um, outside of just linear gameplay if you want to go and reload something. Uh, you got to be a little more careful when you're designing your game to make sure you can support that. Again, Loading and saving is uh, not required. You don't have to support that in your game. And we're going to see here, I'll do a little quick demo of uh, what you can do with uh, beta version 0 0.2. Um, I had uh, posted on Facebook little uh, uh, GIF uh, previews of it. And what that is, is a, a tic-tac-toe game. Uh, a quick look ahead of uh, actually running it. 
I implemented a whole uh, AI, <laughs> effectively, for playing tic-tac-toe. And basically, you can't beat it. Uh, you can let it beat you, and it's not necessarily that good, as, <laughs> as we'll see. Uh, it, you have sometimes have to give it multiple opportunities to beat you. But uh, try as you might, you can't beat it. So here we can see it sets up some tiles. And yeah, it's got a whole lot of code in there. This is the, the most of that XCI configuration language code I've ever put into a single level. And if you manage to lose, then it goes into the next level where it you know, draws a line and calls you a loser. And yeah, you don't want to end up there. <laughs> but we'll just take a quick look at what that looks like. So I just have a simple title screen. That's the only bitmap in the whole game. And now you can see here, I can take a menu, make it much smaller. Don't have any load or save, don't have any music or sound effects or help or anything. Just start a new game and then exit. So let's start the game and then here. Now every, at this point, everything is in tiles. Uh, we don't have any bitmap behind there. And we can just start clicking away and playing tic-tac-toe. It's like, oh, well, I'll go over here. Uh, now, if I'm smart enough to <laughs> play tic-tac-toe like a reasonably intelligent person, then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll never lose, but I'll never win. And then we get our, our cute little reference here. If you're old enough, uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy that. And then you can just do new game and keep going. And then say you're not terribly good <laughs> at tic-tac-toe. And you can say here, oh, nah, there we go. I just lost a tic-tac-toe to an APIC computer. And that's some of the, the cute things that, that you can do with it. And this is just really an example, and, and there'll be a, a link to this repository down in the description of uh, this tic-tac-toe game. And you can just play with it yourself, and, but mainly just to see an extended use case for this configuration language and how you can uh, do things almost procedurally, but to, to have a really a sophisticated state machine within a single level. Because all that does is just reloads that that one level over and over again with uh, uh, with a different uh, state each time. And now, if I go back to the example game, we'll take a look here. Of course, we hear that beautiful entry music. Uh, I'm gonna kill that prematurely. And now, it, rather than going to new game, I can do load game. So here you have uh, in the load screen, you have up to eight slots that you can fill. Again, if your game supports load and save, and like I said, you've got to be uh, extra careful with the way you manage state in your game. And uh, here I just named one after myself just so that I could go in there and keep playing around. And now here I'm already at Izzy's. So I can uh, skip all that other business. And uh, I've also had music turned off because when I uh, was playing before, I didn't want to hear the music anymore. So music's turned off and um back here and I can just go right into playing the game. So, oh, let's see. Oh, and okay, it's not bug free. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll take a look later at uh, some of this other stuff. But for the most part, load and save does work correctly. And you can go ahead and, uh, and check that out. And please, if you can, uh, uh, have any uh, ability to figure out why some things are happening or to come up with uh, repeatable ways to make certain bugs happen. It's certainly not bug-free. This is very much a beta release product. Uh, go ahead into uh, GitHub here. Here's that the beta, uh, beta release page issues. Nobody's got any issues in there yet, so please feel free to go in there put in some issues and uh, tell me how to repeat some of those errors and uh, get that I'll get that fixed for the next beta release. So I hope you enjoy that uh, and uh, please uh, feel free to uh, you can contact me here on YouTube or on uh, Facebook or uh, just uh, posting an issue if you have a particular question and or let me know if you're interested in actually building your own game. You can go ahead and just clone this uh, repository over here. Just clone it or you can go ahead and uh, make your own fork of it if you uh, are interested in actually getting involved in the development of the engine itself or if you find a bug and know how to fix it. 
by all means go ahead and fork it. You can see somebody else has already managed to uh, fork it. And uh, you can go ahead and make a change in your fork and feel free to submit a pull request uh, along with an issue saying uh, what you think needs fixing and how to do it. And uh, I'll just pull your fix in and that's less work for me to do. So uh, I thank you for watching this and please if you uh, uh, like this uh, video, please uh, do that thumbs up and uh, subscribe to learn more about uh, all the goings on I have here for uh, my uh, Commander X16 projects, including uh, Chase Vault, which you can go back uh, through my channel and see uh, my first game for the Commander X16, and st then stay abreast with all the developments for XEI, including that ongoing tutorial series. So thank you, and I'll see you soon.